Um, this is example three, writing the equation of a linear function given its graph. So we're asked to write an equation to describe the line and then to verify that that equation is correct. So um, we're going to, in our solution, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write down the equation we want to use. Okay. And then we know that that equation requires us to have a slope and a y-intercept. Okay, um, so uh, just to fill, fin fill in the note here, we need to write the equation of a linear function. We need to know the slope, m, and the y-intercept, b. Okay, so the, what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do is find uh, where the line intersects the y-axis. So that happens here, and that is our y-intercept. So the line intersects the y-axis at 4, so b is equal to 4. Um, the next thing we're going to need to do is determine the slope of the line. In order to do that, I need to pick two points on the line. I want to pick points that are, lie over top of where two grid lines intersect. Okay, so I pick these, these two points, and then I'm going to connect them with the right triangle. I'm going to use that right triangle to tell me what my rise is. So my rise is actually a fall, and it's equal to negative 1, and my run is 3. Okay, so from the graph, the rise is negative 1, and the run is 3. Um, m is equal to rise over run, so our, our slope is negative 1 third. So m is negative 1 third, or put the negative sign out in front of the entire fraction like so. Substitute m and b into the equation y is equal to mx plus b, and we get y is equal to negative 1 third x plus 4. So that, we think, is the equation of the line that was drawn in that graph. Part B says, verify the equation. Okay, so we were asked to verify that we've got the right equation. So how do we do this? Well, we go to our graph and we pick a point on the graph that we know the uh, coordinates of exactly. So if we pick this point here, okay, we can say the coordinates of that point are, okay, the coordinates of that point there, the x-coordinate is 6, the y-coordinate is 2. So we're going to choose a point. We've chosen 6, 2. The next step is we take the equation that we've written, negative 1 third x plus 4, and we're going to replace or we're going to substitute in x is 6. Okay, so we're going to take y is equal to 1 third x plus 4. And we're going to substitute the value 6 is 6 in for x. Okay, we're going to simplify that, and we're going to get a third of 6. A third times 6 is 2. Negative 1. Something was wrong there. Negative 1 third times 6 is negative 2. And then if we add 2 to that, we get 2. So we substituted the value x is 6 into our equation, and the value for y that we got out was 2. And since that value matches this one up here, a point that we know lies on the line, okay, we know that we our equation is generating correct values. Okay, so that's how you verify an equation. We've got practice two here, or practice three here for you to do. So pause the video for a moment. Um, have a shot at uh, writing the equation of that line in practice three, and then when you come back, I'll get the answer for you. Okay? okay. Practice three, write an equation to describe this function and verify your equation. So for A, we'll start out. We'll start out with 
y is equal to mx plus b. Okay. We'll identify our slope, which is m. And we'll identify our y-intercept, which is b. So we start over, we, we start, we go to our graph, and we find our y-intercept. Okay, and so we say b is equal to negative 5. And then we pick two points to use to calculate our slope. So I could pick this point here and this point here. Draw my right triangle in. And my rise is 2, and my run is 3. Okay, so my slope is going to be equal to rise over run, so 2 over 3. So now I'm ready to write the equation. I'm going to replace the m with 2 thirds. Write down the x, and then I'm going to replace the b with negative 5. And then I'm just going to rewrite that using the subtraction sign. Okay, um, so now I have the equation and uh, it's part B of this question asks me to verify it. So to verify this equation I need to pick a point that I know the coordinates of exactly. Um, I know the coordinates of this point here exactly. So I'm going to pick that point and the coordinates of that point are x is 6, y is negative 1. Okay, so then I'm going to take those, uh, that value, uh, I'm going to choose b, I'm going to choose the point 6 and negative 1. Okay, I'm going to substitute into y is equal to 2 thirds x minus 5. I'm going to substitute the value 6 in for x. Okay, so I'm going to replace x with 6, so y is equal to 2 thirds times 6 minus 5. Um, so I'm just going to go over here. So y is equal to 2 thirds 6 minus 5 is going to give me y 2 thirds of 6. So I'm going to take 6 and multiply it by 2 and get 12, and then divide it by 3 to get 4. So now I've got 4 minus 5, so y is equal to negative 1. So when I substituted the value 6 into my equation for x, I got the value y is negative 1 out of the equation, and that, this point here, matches this point here, okay, which I took from the graph, so that verifies that my equation is correct. Um, let's go on to our final example. So example four, uh, using an equation of a linear function to solve a problem. <clears throat> to join the local gym, Kareem pays a startup fee of $99 plus a monthly fee of $29. Part A of the question asks us to write an equation for the total cost C for n months at the gym. Okay, so n uh, is our, uh, I guess we would say our independent variable, and the cost is the dependent variable. So we're going to say the total cost, well, it's going to be equal to, it's going to be equal to the startup fee, which is $99, but we'll just write it in the startup fee. Okay, plus the uh, monthly fee. Okay, so um, for n months at the gym, the monthly fees are. I'm going to add an SC because it should be monthly fees. So for n months at the gym, the monthly fees are. Well, um, every month he uh, works out at the gym. He pays $29, and so if we take 29 and we're to multiply it by the number of months he uses the gym, we'll get an expression for the monthly fees. The startup fee, we're told, is $99. Okay, so uh, our, we know that the total cost is the startup fee plus the monthly fees, so if I write 
C for cost is equal to 99 plus 29N. Okay, that would be an equation that would um, tell us how much it's going to cost given that we know how many months he attends the gym. Um, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to rewrite this as 29 n plus 99. There, you'll get the same answer no matter which equation you use, but this equation here um, looks more like the y is equal to mx plus b form. Okay, so, um, oops, looks like it 